dizer para os ministros de todo mundo? I would like to ask the ministers to do something for the children. Assim, tomasse uma decisão para tirar So that they're not hanging around on the streets anymore. Colocassem elas numa escola. And so that they can be allowed to go to school. Para um dia elas serem. So that they can have a future. E ser aquilo que elas And make their dreams come true. At school, I help the others, because I know all of the subjects. At home, I help my sisters with their homework, because I've already done the classes that they are doing. I help each of them equally. There are no favorites, because I love them all, and so I don't treat them differently. In the past 10 years, 28 million children have been enrolled in school. Yet still today, some 75 million children do not have access to education. In Sub-Saharan Africa and South and West Asia, as well as in the Arab states, girls are the ones who are most often excluded from the education system. Why are these children not in school? Firstly, because in Latin America and the Caribbean, and in South and West Asia and the Pacific, late entry is the problem. In Sub-Saharan Africa, access to school is the principal concern. In South and West Asia, there are high rates of dropouts. There are glaring gaps in achievement between developed and developing countries. The scope of exclusion is vast. Inclusive education targets all children who are excluded from education, regardless of their origin. Out of 776 million adults who are lacking basic literacy skills, two-thirds of them are women. More than 90% of children with disabilities in developing countries do not attend school. In 2025, the number of people with disabilities will increase from 650 to 900 million. Two-thirds of these will be in developing countries. It will cost $11 billion per year to finance just three of the EFA goals in low-income countries. Primary school for all, early childhood care and education, and literacy. Yet we spend 75 times this amount per year on military expenditure. Three days of peace in the world would give all of the children in the world basic primary education. One of the ways to address this situation is through inclusive education. Inclusive education is a pedagogy for all. The definition that I would suggest is the most valuable one is to think about inclusion as a process of school development. Moving a school forward, developing its capacity to involve all children. It involves three overlapping levels. The first level is presence. Which children are here? Which children attend every day? Presence is the first stage of inclusion. It's necessary, but insufficient. Beyond presence, we also have to have children who feel valued and welcomed, Feel children who feel that they can participate. So presence and participation is very important. But even that is insufficient, because children can be present, they can be participating, but they may not be learning. So the ultimate goal of inclusion is, of course, learning and achievement. Inclusive education is about implementing a rights-based approach to education. We are caring in humane society, and in order to achieve that uh, characteristic and attribute, we have to ensure that our education is aligned in such a way that we are inclusive in whatever we do. Education is really important because if you didn't go to if you didn't go to school, high school, primary school, you wouldn't really be as smart as you are now, and you wouldn't be like having a good job. You might like get a terrible job if you don't go, if you haven't got education. Providing lifelong learning from early childhood onwards. Responding to all types of diversity in learning, as is indicated in various conventions, including the Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities. Democratizing education and society. School must be an element of a larger social policy view. So the educational system cannot be taken out of the larger context. It must be a part of a global approach. A social reform must absolutely be based on the principles of human rights and democracy.
Combating Poverty and Marginality. The biggest challenge that we have in Kenya is poverty. That, particularly for the younger people, is a big problem for us because they are extracted from going to school. Uh, whereas primary school is totally free. I mean, the child should simply walk to school. But they'll not walk to school, they'll walk to do something else because of poverty, mainly poverty. All I would have to say to the ministers is this. I think that they have to review the price of schooling, they have to decrease it a little, and try to go to see disadvantaged families, to listen to them, to see what they can do for the children from these families. Empowering people and communities with innovative resources. And moving the EFA agenda forward. Education for all is UNESCO's number one priority. But we need a renewed commitment to education for all if its, to, if its goals are to be met on time. And key to this is inclusion. It is very important that this be a process of democratization of education. It is very important that this process obliges us to review our curricula, to study new curricula which takes into account new values, human rights, tolerance, acceptance of cultural diversity. Inclusive education can help all our education systems take these elements into account. It seems to me that what you need is a policy which makes very clear what the priorities are within an education system. A policy that stresses the idea that every child matters and that every child matters equally. It seems to me that if government can provide a strong lead in terms of the philosophy and the values that will underpin the school system, that creates the encouragement for people at the district level and at the school level, and of course, most importantly, ultimately, at the classroom level, to continue the journey of learning how to make education more effective for every child. What makes our school special is that um, everyone gets like treated in like in the same way and an like, equal life. You shouldn't like treat people differently just because like they're different than other people because the the all humans just all should be treated in the same way as each other. Between June 2007 and September 2008, UNESCO organized nine regional workshops and four regional conferences on inclusive education as main preparatory activities of the 48th session of the ICE. 914 representatives from 128 countries took part in this global policy dialogue. Ministers, various policymakers and educators, along with participants from UNESCO offices and delegations, national commissions, international organizations and various members of civil society participated in this important process. If countries can succeed in democratizing access, performance, processes and outcomes, then we can all uh, succeed in achieving uh, a just, peaceful and sustainable education system and hence world. Enlarging the concept of inclusive education has to involve not only encompassing those who are uh, currently excluded, but also has to involve recognizing political realities. So a new uh, approach to uh, education for all from an inclusive perspective has to have two elements. First of all, much more emphasis on equity, uh, and this, by the way, is the theme of the uh, current uh, Global Monitoring Report that is just being launched at this conference. And secondly, uh, recognizing that the education for all is an evolving concept that has moved, uh, moving beyond the narrow interpretation of the six goals to include also other highly relevant and highly politically relevant uh, parts of education such as lower secondary education. Implementing new agendas of educational change that take account of what we are increasingly learning about what works in terms of uh, learning processes, about what, what works in terms of uh, new technologies and so on. And that the mechanism for this has to involve new approaches to governance, uh, to finance uh, and to uh, recording and measuring outcomes. 
Achieving just, peaceful and sustainable societies is about harnessing education's transformative power for all. This is at the core of inclusive education. <laughs>